Anybody seen the movie Express? All right, the movie is about the first black Heisman Trophy winner. All right? So we want to be clear that they're going to, they're going to, I'm going to tie this into Barack Obama. Just pay attention. This is how they do their magic. All right? Now, Express can also be Express. Express, Express. Same thing, all depending on how you break the word up and how you understand how they use words. All right? Now, the movie came out on 1010. That could be a reference to time because you know, all the watches, all the watch ads say 1010, right? So the movie came out on October 10th. So that was giving me a clue that this was a reference to some form of time. All right? So I went from Express to Express, and the Express I'm talking about is right there. JFK. Now, he won the Heisman Trophy the same year JFK was elected. All right? This kid, uh, Ernie Davis, the Ernie Davis story. We're going to tie this into Barack Obama because they've been calling Barack Obama, you know, JFK, talking about he tapping into his energy and things of the Messiah and things of that nature. So let's look at a few things because somebody sent me something interesting. They said, here's some more interesting facts. Notice that when... The show, they show Ernie Davis trailer, the movie, they make a point to show Elmira across his chest. Well, I thought that that would look, I would look up Elmira and see how it fit into this. Notice that one of the central uh, uh, points in Elmira is the following paragraph, barracks, number three. So if you look at Elmira on the commercial for the Express, it says barracks, which could be Barack, all right? Also the year, uh, 1864 and 1865 is the so-called year of the Emancipation Proclamation. Remember, Barack Obama decided to make his announcement in Springfield, Illinois, home of Abraham Lincoln, who is responsible for the Emancipation Proclamation. All right, then it goes in to say, uh, let me get down here, let me just get to the next piece. I want to show you something real interesting. All right, the Negro vote counts. That's what it also says on the movie trailer. Negro vote count. Are they talking about now or are they talking about then? All right, the upcoming movie, Ernie Davis. Ironically, Ernie Davis was the first black man, African-American, to win the Heisman Trophy. He also wore the number 44. If Barack wins the presidential election, he will become the 44th president of the United States of America. In the movie, you see President John F. Kennedy, who many are comparing to Barack Obama, greeting Ernie Davis. He wrote a complimentary letter to Ernie Davis soon after he won the Heisman. Ironically, Ernie Davis won the award in 1961 and subsequently died in 1963. John F. Kennedy became the president in 1961 and subsequently died in 1963. Barack Obama was born in the same year, 1961. Barack Obama assumed office as a U.S. Senator in 2005, exactly 44 years after President Kennedy assumed the presidency of the United States. Barack Obama announced his candidacy for presidency exactly 44 years after John F. Kennedy was assassinated. Could be a coincidence, maybe not. <clears throat> All right, so understand how that ties in. The first black to win the Heisman Trophy, wearing the number 44, Barack Obama could be the first president, he would be the 44th president. So the numbers line up. All right, this is how they work their magic. First black man to do this, first black man. But also, remember, it was another link between Lincoln and John F., which was kind of weird. Abraham Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1946, uh, 1846. John F. Kennedy was elected to Congress in 1946. Abraham Lincoln uh, was elected to the president in 19, 1860. John F. Kennedy was elected in 1960. The name Lincoln and Kennedy each contained seven letters. Both were particularly concerned with civil rights. Both wives lost their children while living in the White House. Both presidents were shot on a Friday. Both presidents were shot in the head. Lincoln's secretary was named Kennedy. Kennedy's secretary was named Lincoln. Both were assassinated by Southerners. 
Both were succeeded by Southerners named Johnson. Andrew Johnson, who succeeded Lincoln, was born in 1908, 1808. Lyndon Johnson, who succeeded Kennedy, was born in 1908. John Wilkes Booth, who assassinated Lincoln, was born in 1839. Lee Harvey Oswald, who assassinated Kennedy, was born in 1939. Both assassinations were known, say, assassins were known by three names. Both names are composed of 15 letters. Lincoln was shot at a theater named Ford. Kennedy was shot in a car called Lincoln. Both ran, check this out, both ran from the theater and was caught, uh, a booth ran from the theater and was caught in a warehouse. Oswald ran from a warehouse and was caught in a theater. <laughs> Booth and Oswald were assassinated before their trials. And here is the kicker. A week before Lincoln was shot, he was in Monroe, Maryland. A week before Kennedy was shot, he was basically in Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> the ability to draw what we want in our lives, but what somebody else has done has tapped into your own ability to think, and they're drawing to you what they want to draw to you. This is why everybody is selling everything. Everything is for sale. Memphis Bleak was in a damn shampoo commercial recently. Y'all yes, ready? Okay. The presidential election, Senator Obama versus Senator McCain, Tuesday, November 4th, Saturn is in opposition to Uranus. I'm going to say that again. The planet Saturn, because we're going to take it up, and then I'm going to bring it down for you, all right? As above, so below. So Saturn is in opposition to Uranus. That means that here's an interesting uh, uh, tidbit of astrology. Saturn and Uranus are going to be in exact opposition on November 4th for the first five passes, heralding revolutionary and social and economic change. Revolutionary and economic change. What's the key word in the Obama campaign? Change. They keep pushing change. Change. See, these, these are trigger words. They knew that this was going to line up on November 4th before it even happened. So deep down in your subconscious, they're giving you the term change so that you can always remember change. Why? Because the planets have already said that there's going to be a revolutionary social and economic change. Interesting enough, this is the same astro astrological vibration that is created for the political climate of the mid-60s. It's interesting times in which we live. Uranus and Saturn don't get to hang out with each other very much. And we're, we're, we're grateful for that. But when they are in opposition with each other, you have the old guard digging in tradition and clinging to fearful and uh, worn-out ways of the past. That's McCain. He don't want to change. He's got his old military ways. You know what I'm saying? While the younger generation emphatically insists on revolutionary change. All right? That's Obama. All right? Coming and saying, move your ass out the way, your old ass out the way. It's time for change. Astrologers are saying that those born in the mid-60s were born under this configuration and have been waiting for a reason to stand up and activate this force. Activate. It's the key word, because when there's a trigger, something needs to activate it. All right? So they're telling you right here, activate this force within. And they say it's practically ordains Obama's win because McCain would not be changed. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he still represents that old way. All right? So here it is. Change we can believe in. So they lining this up, and remember, they don't do nothing without conferring with their astrologists, numerologists, and occult science. Every move they make is done based on the heavens, because they know that everything is synchronized and linked up. Every single color has a vibration to it. And why they use colors when they use black and red together, that's the color of the Illuminati. So whenever you see black, anybody see the movie, uh, V for Vendetta? That's why when you saw him in the background, he had the black and the red cross and the double cross and all that there. They, they use these colors purposely. 